Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Y'all come on in. I've already started a little bit. Um, we got a lot to do today, so I went ahead and got a little jump start. Y'all say hello as you come in. Let me know that you are here. Make sure I can see you over here. Let me know what you have been up to. There we go. Hello, Miss Maria. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I'm glad you were able to join this morning. I got a lot to paint today, so I jumped on and got started just a little bit. And I really don't need to tape this because I've got shiplap lines on it, but I'm going to just so I can go a little faster because I got a pumpkin to paint too. This is going to be one of the new door hangers slash shelf sitters in my shop. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it painted today. Hello, Debbie, Tanya, Danielle, Candy. How are y'all doing? And guys, I know I'm going to miss some comments. I'll be missing Mr. White today reading my comments for me. So, let's see who else. We got Miss Regina and Danielle. What we're going to be painting is this is a shiplap circle. And it is going to have this cute little pumpkin on it, guys. Look how cute that is. And it'll say welcome, or it could have your last name or whatever you want on it. But thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Wrong way on that one. I was talking. All righty. So, how was everybody's weekend? Everybody have a great weekend? I'm going to spend more time with this dang tape than I would have just painted the thing, right? Thank you, Debbie, for sprinkling. Hey, Zena, how are you doing? And, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this black paint put on, and then we'll paint that pumpkin. And then I'm going to tell you a little secret about this shiplap round and um show you something whenever i get it get some of this paint on if i ever do hey donna hello hello how are you doing this morning and i do have some um uh, white in where it's supposed to be black that's okay black covers up everything and if you notice when i am painting this i'm not painting back and forth i'm painting from the tape down and the reason I do that is because if you do this, it won't seep back under. If you're doing this, you're pushing that paint back up underneath your tape. So if you are um, painting from the tape down, then you're not getting that much of a... And then you can like smooth it out, but you do it lightly. And that way you just don't get a lot of... Um, paint seeping up underneath your tape. I won't say there won't be any, but you won't have as much. Hey, Cindy, you had a storm yesterday, and another's on its way. We had a bad storm here yesterday, and it put down some rain, which we needed desperately. So, um, and I think I forgot to tell y'all, when I came in, I'd already started working that my name is Karen, and uh, you were watching White's Creative Designs, which I guess you already know. But I am so glad that y'all have joined me this morning. Let's see. Miss Connie, thank you for sprinkling. But no, just starting on that tape and painting down. And this does have shiplap lines on it, so it would be super easy to paint even without the tape. I just put the tape on there just to make it easy. And then in the center, of course, you can go your normal back and forth. We'll get this done, and then we're going to paint that cute little pumpkin. I think this one's going to be pretty. It'll have the black and white lines, and then it'll have that orange pumpkin on it. And if you don't like orange, I know I've run into so many people that don't like orange. And that's okay, that's okay. You could paint it a cream pumpkin and maybe do a taupe color instead of black would be really pretty. And that would be a super, super um, pretty color for fall. 
I do a um, striped pumpkin door hanger that I did with the taupe, and it's really pretty. In fact, I think I did it um, on here just a few weeks ago, so it should be in my lives if y'all want to go back and look. Hey, Barbara. Guys, I appreciate y'all sprinkling. That helps out so much. Alrighty, so we may need to put one more little coat on, but we're going to go with this for right now. And let's set this to the side. And let's see. Rula, is that how you pronounce that? I'm sorry if I messed it up, but that's a pretty name. Alright, I am going to paint my pumpkin orange. But the thing with orange is it's so transparent that I'm going to need some color behind it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of white to my orange paint. I'll pull it over so you can see. I'm going to put just a little bit of white. And I never go directly into my um, orange paint with my color. I'm going to just put it to the side. And then I'm just going to bring in a little bit at a time and just mix them in the middle. That way, if I squirted all that white paint in there, then what would happen is it would get too light, and then I would have to add more orange. Then add, So it's just like a battle that you fight, but if you put them side by side and mix in the middle, then you can kind of get that color that you want just by pulling a little bit at a time in. So hopefully that'll help somebody. And what this does by adding the white, we're going to go on top of it with orange in just a few minutes. But what this does is it helps to cover up the lines on the wood so you can not see that. I don't want to see it. Some people may like it. I've had people at paint parties be like, but I want to see that. And I'm like, well, don't put the white in. <laughs> hey, Patty. Hey, Cindy. So, like I say, this is just one of those optional things that you can do if you want to. And it does have the lines for the little leaf. And we're going to do it green, so getting some orange in there is not a big deal. And I'm going to show you another little thing because it has the lines for the pumpkin. And we can do the same thing when we go over and pull our tape. If any of our lines filled in over there, I'll show you what we can do. But this little pumpkin would be fun by itself. I was steady. Um, we went on vacation. Well, a mini vacation. We just, just a few days. But I was drawing up a storm trying to get some things completed because I've just been so busy lately. So I've just been trying to get some stuff done. And so I was like, uh, let's do a pumpkin on a round. I think that'll be cute. Hey, Diane. Welcome, 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 girl. Joey, welcome. Patty. Mommy, hello, hello, Cindy. Hey, girl. Is it freezing? Oh, no. Y'all, let me go and put it on my... Hold on a second. All right, let's see if that's better. I put it on my Wi-Fi. I mean, on my LTE, so let's see if that helps out any. Hey, Debbie. Y'all, let me know if it gets better. But, you know, that's one of those FB things, so I don't know if it'll help or not, but we can try. It's worth a try. Hey, Susan. And I'm just going to do my stem brown. And we're going to come back and shade in all of this in just a few minutes. I'm just getting a little bit of color put down on it. And then we will come back and do all of our shading with our second coat. So we're going to paint our little stem. So, how many people have started decorating for fall? Um, put a thumbs up emoji. And if you have already started decorating for Halloween, put in a heart emoji. And I don't even know what to say if you've already started decorating for Christmas. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do the care sign. <laughs> If you've already started, cause Lord have mercy. You know, I love Christmas, but I don't know if I could do it that long. Good grief. Okay, I've got some thumbs up, so that was for fall. I know I've, I've already seen some people say that they're already started their Halloween stuff, and I'm like, 
I'm over here still trying to get the um, 4th of July stuff up. <laughs> that is too funny. Hey Karen, hey Margaret, hey girls and girl, I'm not leaving this pumpkin this color, so y'all just hold tight just a moment. And oh, I paint a lot with an angled brush, and some people just don't like an angled brush, but I do most of my painting. If I held up my jar over here, y'all would see that I've got mainly angled brushes in there because it's just, you can just do so much with them. All right, let that dry and we'll come back to it in a minute. Hey, Debbie and Linda and Toby. Guys, if I'm missing you, don't think that I am ignoring you. I am not. I am just not sitting, gonna see everybody because I'm painting. Okay, let's go ahead and get an orange put on this, and then we will check our black and see if we're gonna need another coat. And I just use regular acrylic paints. I don't use anything special. I just use Apple Barrel colors. They're convenient. They're close by to me. Um, our local Walmart sells them. That green's still wet, so I'm not gonna go back in close to it right yet. I'm gonna hold just a bit. Some people like to use like more expensive paints. I don't particularly think that it makes that big a difference. I have to use two coats with it too, so I think it's just what you prefer. My green's still just a little bit wet. Let me pull just a little bit in. That's okay, we'll use it as shading. And that's another thing that I will talk with my ladies that paint with me a lot about is, you know what, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we want it to look really, really good, and it will. But the thing about it is, is, you know, it's painting wood. If you don't like it, at the end of the day, just paint over it. It's not, It's all right. And a lot of times if you will make, if you get paint outside of its line, if you pick up like a, a brush that's just damp with no paint on it and pull, it'll pull that paint right up. So you won't have to do a lot of touch up work. Something that close in a baby wipe would be dangerous. Because a baby wipe is great at cleaning up boo-boos, but on that boo-boo, it would not have been a good thing because I would have pulled more green in than I would have picked up. Alrighty. Alright, so if your lines, the little pumpkin has those lines on it, you see those lines? If they start filling in, this little tool from the Dollar Tree is your friend. It comes in a pack of two, and they have little um, clear lids on them. Of course, my lids are lost, but I just turn them upside down in a little cup, and I, they don't stick me. But take this little sharp edge and put it in that line and just drag down. And when you do that, it pulls all the paint out of that little line. And that way you can keep the line if you want to see it. Now, if you don't, just keep packing it full of paint and you won't see it again. But 
it just pulls all of that paint out and just wipe it off. And you can do the same thing on your shiplap rounds if they start filling in with paint and you won't, um, you won't have such a mess over there. Hello, Renee. Let's see, I got 30 minutes. Miss Gloria, hello, Julie. You put fall things up September 1st and Halloween October 1st. Okay, well that's good. Um, like I say, I know one lady um, that I'm friends with on Facebook. She was posting, she was already decorating for Christmas and I'm like, now that's just too much. <laughs> I can't do that that early. Alrighty, so I'm gonna move this sheet of paper just because it's covered in paint. We're gonna roll back over here and I'm gonna add just a little bit more to the center just so I don't see a lot of shadows in my shiplap round. And I'm not gonna really get in a lot on the edges, just a little bit if I see that it needs it. But I mainly wanna go in the center. Hey, Glenda. Ladies, I appreciate y'all joining. And gentlemen, if I may have some gentlemen on. I'm not leaving you guys out, I'm sorry. But um, I appreciate everybody joining me today. I hope y'all are having an awesome Monday. Monday fun day. I think Monday is what we make of it. I know so many people dread it, but you know what? We can't wish our lives away. And Mondays are a part of it, so... I try to wake up every single day and thank my lucky stars that I was one of the lucky ones to get to open my eyes again. So, Mondays are a part of it. We are truly blessed. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Glenda. Alrighty. So, we're going to let this dry and then we're going to pull our tape off. And let's work on our pumpkin again. Hey, Joan, how are you? I wish this iPad would not, it times out my comments and they go away. I have to keep touching the screen and I have worked and worked and worked on that and I cannot figure out for the life of me how to make that not do it. Hey, Pat, how are you? This is my last coat. We're gonna do a little shading. And I know I will make a bow for this, but I did not make a bow for it. I normally have one ready. So I will post it, a photo of it in a little while with the bow, cause I don't think I'll have time to make one. If you dip into the wrong color, just when you're pat going along your edge, if it's still a little wet, just wipe your brush off and then go back into your other color again and it picks it right up. And like I say, we're gonna do some shading on it so it won't matter. Hang on, morning Holly, good morning Mary and Janice. Good morning, good morning. Alrighty, so I'm gonna dip into a little bit of water. I always put a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna dip it off to the side. And guys, I know it's freezing a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all hang with me, please. I'm sorry. I cannot believe that they don't get this fixed. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a coat of paint on there with just a tiny bit of water in it. I call this lazy shading. When I go into a paint party, most of the time, a lot of those ladies are super, are super nervous. And so I try to make it easy. And so that's the way I paint is easy so it can help somebody else learn. And so I call this lazy shading and most people really get comfortable with it. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So I just put a little water on my brush, dip it in my paint, and then I just come out, and then I just um, put it down, just in the spot where I'm fixing to shade. I don't wanna do the whole thing because by the time I get through the whole thing, it's going to already be um, dry. I'm just gonna dip just the tip of my brush in a little bit of brown paint, and then I'm just gonna come on the edge, and you're like, oh no, that looks awful. Well, dab off on your paper and then come in and just start brushing. 
and you can pick up a little more. And what it does is it blends in with that orange paint just to give you just a little bit of highlight in your in your painting. So you see the difference in how it looks? And if you get too much and you're like, oh, that's just too much, wipe your brush off on your paper, go straight into nothing but orange, and then just come back in around it and just go over it a little bit. And you see how it lightens up the shading in there then? So it's super easy. You can also go into white and come in and do the same thing. And you notice I never washed the brush. And I had just enough paint. I didn't wet it, but just enough paint to where it'll just... And you see how that just shades that um, light on the, around the leaf? How much nicer that looks. The shading is what makes your pieces, to me. Um, you could go with it with no shading at all, and it would be super cute. But just adding that little bit of shading in it really, really, really does help your pieces to stand out um, and just have that little extra um, pizzazz to them. And if you didn't want to use white, you could use a cream color. I just had white out, so that's the reason we got some white. And I normally like to make one side of my pumpkin a little bit lighter than the other. And everybody's different as to what side they want that to be. So I don't think it matters. It's just what you like. And that's what painting's all about to me, is what you like. There's no right or wrong. It's just what is your taste and what do you like best. You could easily do this little pumpkin a cream color, and it would be so cute, too. Um, so, like I say, so many different colors people are using. I know I had somebody tell me the other day they were going to do all of their Christmas in pink this year. And I'm like, okay, that'll be interesting i mean it's not wrong it may not be everybody's cup of tea but it isn't wrong all righty so let's go back in and we were going to do a little bit in our green i'm going to cover my little leaf up and if a little bit of orange got into your leaf it's okay because we're going to cover all that up now And when I go in with my green like that, what I like to do is use a little bit of black. You could use brown, but I like to use a little black. Hey, Valerie. Guys, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate it so much. So I'm just going to put like a little tip of black on there. And then I'm going to just drag it in. Wipe it off. And then I'm just going to, you can even take a little bit of green on your brush and then just come back over it and you see how it just like blends it into the grain and then you can even pull out from that to make like your little lines oh white white baby wipe time I got too close to the white. And here's that. And this is perfect because it teaches y'all how to fix boo-boos. Don't wipe, blot. Just tap it. You don't want to wipe it. If you wipe it, you're going to wipe all the way down to your um, bottom layer of paint. So we're just going to cover it up with green and we'll come right back in and do it again. That was just the trial run, y'all. Gosh. Okay, let's try again. We're staying out of the white this time.
and just blend it in. And let's do our stem, and then we're going to go and pull our black and white shiplap round and get it put together. What color do you think we need to do the welcome on it? We're going to have the black and white shiplap round, the orange pumpkin. So what color do you think for the welcome? All right, so I've got the brown on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap just a little bit into my black. And I'm just going to make little polka dots. You see those little polka dots? You're like, what are you doing? You ruined it. Wipe the paint off your brush and then just drag. Now my paint up underneath it was wet. And just drag it. And you see how it gives it an illusion of being a stem now? So, like I say, that's just a fun way to do some shading. And you can pick up a little brown if it's too dark in places and go right back over it. So, that's just the way I try to show people how to do it. It just makes it easy if you um, are just learning how to paint. So, that's a lot of fun. So, there's our little pumpkin. And we'll put some... Um, lines on it in just a little bit, but we're going to jump over here to our shiplap round right quick, and let's see if we did good. I'm trying to get all the paint off so I don't get it all over that white. And here's our welcome. So what color did we, did anybody ever say, hello, Deline Terry, the comfy Ness, Judy, Nancy, Viola, Ruby. I'm missing so many of y'all. Betty, Jim, Holly, Mary, Janice, Connie. Welcome, 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 welcome. Alrighty. And like I say, this was shiplap. You would not have to use the paint if you didn't want to. I just did because it was going to make it fast and I could get it done a little bit faster. So... Hey, Sheila, where did you get the cute pumpkin? Um, it is in my shop. I don't have the picture up with it yet. I'll put that on when I get through. But I think it's listed as pumpkin round. It's over at whitescreativedesigns.com. If you look at the um, at our website. And it'll have a picture when I'm finished. I put it on right before I came live. And I'm going to show you one thing. Okay, we didn't really bleed. My paint didn't get, uh, my tape covered up a little bit. So we're going to go along and cover that up. And right here, where I had the tape and I had just painted the white, it pulled up just a little bit of our paint. So we're going to fix that right quick. And then we can move on and finish the rest of it. So... Like I said, that happens sometimes when you are putting tape over paint that has just been painted. It isn't bad, and usually if you go a little slower pulling your tape, you might not have that at all. But because I went a little bit faster just to try and get rolling, mine did. See, that's all it took to cover it up. So that wasn't bad at all. And so I'm just going to get, I think I'm going to get a smaller one. I'm going to get a little small brush. And I'm going to just run across those lines right quick and cover that up where it didn't meet up. And then we will dry it and put our pumpkin down. Hey, Ellen. Green. Ooh, yeah, that would be pretty. Anybody else got any suggestions for the color of our welcome? 
We'll lay it all together in just a few minutes and we can decide. I'm not loving that brush for what I'm doing though. It's kind of going all over the place. Let's try this itty bitty. It might not be big enough. Alrighty, I think that is pretty good. Let's get this one little spot, and then I don't want to run out of time, so I'm not going to be too particular. And you know, it'd be really pretty, too, to take a piece of sandpaper after you got this finished and distress it. That would be super cute, too. Hey, Jean, how are you? I think white, which is great. Maroon. Let's see. Let me get down to the bottom. Anita, hello, Sheila. And guys, if anybody's new, let me know. If I don't see you while I am on, I will definitely come back and message you when I am finished and say hello. Alrighty, I'm going to put just a little bit of swooshes on my little pumpkin, and then we will get everything glued down. Okay, it depends on which stripe that it's going on. Yeah, that's true. Second time here. Last year was fun. I try to have fun. Most of the time, there's some kind of event. I'm either going to mess something up, spill something, or, but we usually have some, we, we usually have some pretty good laughs, even though the Facebook is kind of bleeping us in and out today. They might know I'm having too much fun over here and they're jealous. What do y'all think? <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, you could go black on your pumpkin or you could just do the brown and kind of give it just that little kind of undertone on it. It would be up to you. I'm going to do just a little brown on mine. I shouldn't be doing that on top of here. I'm scratching it. And then I'm going to come back in with a little bit of white. And I always add a little bit of water to my paint to do this because after your paint sits for a little bit, it gets kind of clumpy and gooey. Y'all like my lovely terms. <laughs> I told y'all you never know what you're going to get. Alrighty. So I'm going to come into the leaf and I roll off on the plate. I'm going to pick that one up. If you get a little swoosh you don't like, keep your baby wipe handy. And again, just blot it. Don't wipe. Just tap on it, and it brings it right up. So instead of having a place that's going to be like um, no paint, and I've got to go back in and do a whole lot of painting, I've just got like nothing at all. It didn't do anything, so didn't mess it up. Hey, Tracy, any of the colors you've used would work. That's true. 
Yep. And if you put a color on, I'm going to show you one more thing, and I'm running, I'm going to run out of time if I don't hurry, but one more thing. If you put the white on, you see the white, and you're like, oh, I just don't know if I like that. This is what you do. Just tap into your water and come back over to your orange paint and then tap it over to the side. You're in your orange paint with water. Tap it off to the side to offload some of it off of your brush and then come back in and just lightly come over top of those with the white. And what that does is it just tones it down a little bit. You've still got that lighter swoosh. We call them swooshes. <laughs> um, you've got that lighter swoosh, but it doesn't stand out and kind of take over your piece. You see the difference that that made just adding that little bit. You can still see it, but it just changes the look of it a little bit. Same thing with the green. If you want just a little bit to see just a little, then you can just go over it lightly. And it just changes the whole look of it. All right, so let's put this on here. So that's what, that's what we've got so far. That's what it's gonna look like. Oops. And our welcome's gonna go here. So what color do you think if we put it right there? If you, I think the green may be too dark to go on the black. So either, and the orange may, Orange may be too much. Would you do white or would you do a different color? Maybe lime, you could do lime green. Cindy says white. She's voted white. So who else? Anybody else got a color? I didn't use any lime, so everybody's saying white so far, so. I am good, Miss Cindy Lou. All right, so we're gonna do white. You love the highlights in the neutral. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, so I just put a piece of tape down on a sheet of paper, put my um, words on there. You could do like a last name. Anything like that would be cute. So we're going to just pick up some of our white. And I'm gonna leave it kind of thick. Normally I would thin it out just a little bit, but it'll make it where we just have to do one coat if it's thicker. And you can use chalk paint on this. I just usually use acrylic paint. I use chalk sometimes. But when I'm doing a lot of shading and stuff in a piece, I like to use the um, acrylics because they don't dry quite as fast as chalk paint. Hey, Nancy, what it is. So if you all did that and you did the stripes in it, what color would you do your stripes? Would you do black? Um, if you would do black, uh, throw up some um, like signs. And if you would do a different color, put in some heart emojis. All righty. So I'm gonna give this a quick dry while y'all are doing that. I'm gonna look at a few comments. I got five minutes. We got this, y'all. Okay, we got some that would do a different color. I'm seeing a lot of heart emojis. I love that. I love that. And you know, this is one of those that you could try any um, color on. You could make it for fall. You could make it for Halloween. Um, but it will carry you all the way through the fall and Halloween season, really. 
and I've, it's um, in, our, in our shop and it's in a shelf sitter size. That's what I'm doing today. It's really hard to do a door hanger when you've got in a small space. So I normally try to do my shelf sitter sizes when I'm live. But I just put the tape down and then whenever you get ready to pull these little letters up, I always just peel the tape off the back of them instead of pulling the letters up because they will break. Alrighty. So this is what it will look like. So let's glue it down and see what we got. And I'm gonna leave room, I'm gonna put a bow, where is, this is not the bow that I'm gonna put on it. Oh, let's see, do I have it down? No, I already got that one put down, darn it. Um, I don't have a bow over here with me, but I'm gonna leave room for a bow up top, so I'm not gonna put that on. I wish that one wasn't tied down. I had two over there, and they're both tied down to something. Um, you had to laugh. You're what might pictured a jailbird pumpkin. <laughs> oh, my gosh, my jailbird pumpkin. You know, black and white is one of those versatile things that you can just do um, any kind of way. So, and if you're going to do a door hanger, of course, use some wood glue. If you're just going in the house... Um, super glue works great. So, and I'm leaving it down a little bit for a purpose because I will have a bow on it, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. That drives my husband crazy, y'all. He would be over here with the tape measure and trying to make sure it's right on both sides, and I'm. And I'm kind of OCD, but I like to just, to me, it just looks more natural if you just kind of put it. And he's like, no, we've got to have it straight. <laughs> oh, gosh. And the same with your letters. You don't have to put glue on every tiny little piece of the welcome. If you go, if you go too slow, by the time you get to the end your W's not gonna have any glue that's gonna stick down. So you wanna kinda, and I just, I use gel glue and I go fast. I use um, stick fast, my bottle clogged, and y'all, I just cannot, I don't know, I just, it would get, come out way too fast and I cut the tiniest little hole in it. I just like the gel, um, gel glues. So much better. It's like I say, it's personal preference. Whatever, whatever works. Alrighty, and I got just a few minutes, so I'm going to do a touch up there, and then I am going to put. This kind of finishes it off. Hey, Melody, Jackie, hello, hello. Guys, I'm sorry I hadn't talked a lot to y'all as far as comments and stuff. I'll go back and read them when I'm finished and comment to everybody. And like I say, with swooshes, just be light-handed and you'll be good. So many people are afraid to do those. Just practice on a sheet of paper. And you could even come in and put some on your lines. Oops. I'm not gonna do a lot of that because I'm about out of time. So this is what we did today. I'm gonna put a bow on it so it'll be super cute. And I will come back and put a picture in to show y'all but let's see we got just a couple of minutes no i think we're out of time guys if y'all don't like and um, follow white's creative designs go over and hit our facebook page up and like and follow us and i'll be back on thursday i think at 11 30 here on craft around the clock for my segment and i'll be doing another one of our new designs that'll be in our shop so come visit me then until then y'all have a great monday and i'll see you again talk to you soon
Bye.